This video shows how to uh, add and find a user control, which is this one, the small one, uh, at runtime in an application. First, I show you the application. This is my application. It's a WPF application. And as soon as I uh, push the load button, then uh, there will be added um, a user control, which is in this range uh, with the scroll bar. Uh, inside there and automatically uh, after it's inserted in this panel then the objects, the pictures are loaded. So I will show you that. <coughs> now first we have here uh, and this is my user control under the, my folder user controls. That's this one what we see there. Uh, it's just a small uh, block, a grid with uh, with a panel in the middle, a wrap panel where the images are and uh, the main stuff is a grid. And then we have a, a main window and in the main window there is a parent control and in this parent control I will uh, add at runtime when the load button is, is pushed uh, the control inside there. So first we go there to our uh, to the um, to this event, <coughs> when some, somebody pulls uh, pushes the uh, read button, then where's it button read folder? Then it will go there. It will say, <coughs> okay, uh, if the folder exists, then check for files and all that stuff. But it's not not too important. Then. Um, if it's necessary, then it will add a user control. Now, first we check the user control. <coughs> add a user control. This means we create one of this file user folder set. This one as a small user control dynamic at runtime. We set a date inside there, inside this uh, specific stuff, and we give it a name. So the name, user control name. So the name is and this can be U UC for user control folder set and then uh, there's a date and then we add it to the folder to the uh, panel this uh, of the, chil the the children's of the panel panel children add my actual user user control this means that when we are here at the panel folders we add it inside there at one time so after this, uh, after we did, we added it, we uh, go through the stuff and normally this the code has to search um, the, it has to find that uh, the inserted control. Okay, it might be possible also in, in one specific ca uh, uh, case to uh, straight use this one, but normally we go through the code and when <coughs> system checks then if the uh, the user control is already there then I will uh, I have to find it okay now we say okay system says give me the name what I which uh, which stuff I'm searching for so this is the name you see for user control folder set and then a, in this case a, it's a special date and then I would say in this case user folder set uh, this uh, that's the name of uh, user folder of this date equals find user control and that's uh, I al also tried this one this is what you will find on most samples user folder uh, set or this uh, user control of this type find uh, find name of this stuff so this this is the parent stuff the parent uh, object and then you f should uh, find that name but this only works with vis uh, visible uh, controls. So this is this works if you have a button in there already in the XAML code, <coughs> and it, this happens with the visual tree. But if you run it on runtime, then the si the, the stuff is not vis vis visible, so the uh, result will al be always be null. So in this case, I say find user control, and if it's not not null, then add an image. Okay. Now the find user control is a small method which I have written by myself. Okay, in this case it's a specific code because I know 
I'm, uh, I say, okay, this is a private method. Method. I'm looking for this user folder set. This is the user control. My name is find user control. And the first parameter is my parent as a stack, stack panel and give me, and I'm giving a name in there. So we say, uh, find user control of my stack panel and there is my uh, and of this specific name the user folder set and date and then for each element which is there inside if, if for each framework element which is in the parent ch uh, children if the name is the, sa uh, the same name then uh, break that, uh, that for each loop and return the result so we check this one in um, in in a breakpoint <coughs> so now when I say okay uh, find that user control I already added it now the panel itself shows there's a children of uh, we have the um, let's say this one how many children do we have count so the system says there's one, chil uh, one child of, of that count. And <coughs> how many children do we have? We have one. So this is one, and now I one, the first child is this one. Panel folders, children, uh, then, the, then the bracket, zero bracket, and it's of the type at runtime. It sees, okay, this is of the type group images by date dot user controls dot uc folder set so this is inside this is the stuff here uh, user group images date user controls and this is the user controls so that's what it says in here and then it will it checks is that name of that current of that loop of all of all elements parent children of all children children is this element it's a framework element or UI element is the name there at runtime the same as UC folder set so this is the same and then when it is then we, <coughs> we jump out and return the um, this type this this element as a specific type UC folder set <coughs> so we go there and then it will and then it, in di this case when it's found when it finds that stuff it's uh, uh, and it says okay uh, run a method which is inside the of uh, which is a part of this um, user control so in this case we say okay add some images this is inside the stuff so what we, what did we do now we f we tried to find this user control which is this block and when we find it, then we run an, a method. We edit, or we, we run a method on this um, uh, of this user control, or set some param parameters.